Good morning, everyone, and uh, happy Sabbath. On behalf of uh, Project 8 Seventh-day Adventist Church, nais kong batiin yung mga uh, nakikinig at nanonood sa atin via FV Live and Zoom, uh, wherever you are. I would like to extend the happy, happy Sabbath to everyone. Our lesson for this week is entitled uh, Cain and His Legacy Si Cain at ang kanyang pamana Okay, so I would like to read for our key text this morning in Genesis chapter 4 verse 7 It says here If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. And its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. Shall we bow our heads? Father in heaven, we thank you for the lessons that we are going to study today. May thou guide us and help us to understand fully the message that thou art going to give us. Thank you, Father, for the promise, uh, Holy Spirit, to be in our midst, too, as we continue. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Yes, uh, chapter 4 of uh, uh, Genesis. Uh, yeah, it uh, always, uh, or it tells us, sinasabi sa atin kung pa paano, Sa chapter na ito, ang human history um, from after the fall uh, what comes after uh, that incident and uh, it uh, directs uh, our attention to the birth announcing the messianic salvation and also, pinapakita din sa atin the first act of uh, violence and death. And here, events give us idea that human life will be like what will be like after the fall. And uh, the structure of this, of this uh, renders attention to the form of uh, chiastic st structure alternating between the birth and crime. So, uh, we have uh, questions that we are going to consider or we are going to answer uh, as we go on with our discussion. The first is, uh, how did Adam and Eve hope for the promised uh, uh, Messiah in terms of uh, naming their sons? yung pagbibigay ng pangalan sa kanilang mga anak. And uh, number two question is, why was Abel's offering accepted by God and rejected Cain's offering? Number three, what is the root cause of uh, Cain's crime? Ano ba ang pinakaugat? And uh, number four is uh, how was God introduced in the punishment given to Cain? To Cain? Ano pa paano introduce ang Panginoon ng binigyan na punishment? At pa paano din introduce si Cain sa panahon na yun noong uh, binigay sa kanya yung punishment for the sin that he has the committed and uh, next we have uh, for the last question we had it how does the Cain's legacy uh, help us understand uh, God's uh, passage which state that God is able to visit the iniquities of the his um his 
he will visit the iniquities from the third to fourth generations. So uh, we're going to answer that as we uh, continue with our presentation. So number one question is, uh, what hope or promise did Adam and Eve have in naming, uh, giving the names to their children? So kung makikita natin nung, uh, when Cain was uh, born, is the siya yung pinakapanganay, right? And uh, dito nung makita nila na nagkaroon sila ng anak na lalaki, si Adam at si Eve, because God has promised them right after the fall that uh, Messiah will be coming, nasa isip nila na ang Messiah is uh, coming from their uh, immediate immediate uh, uh, occurrence of the Messiah will be on that particular time. So, dito ay makikita natin na after the expulsion from uh, from Eden, nung ipinanganak na si Cain, he was given the name Cain and uh, it was uh, directly linked with the meaning so, literal translations that Eve remembers the Messianic prophecy in Genesis uh, 3.15 believes that he has given, given uh, birth to a Savior. So, yun ang kanyang uh, nasa isip. And then, uh, calling, giving the name, uh, and uh, welcoming that son with joy. They welcome the firstborn son, hoping that he might be the deliverer, the Messiah. In fact, Cain occupies most of the story. He is not only the firstborn son that the parents almost worship, but he was also the first, the only brother, the only brother who in Genesis text speaks, while Eve excitedly comments on Cain's birth. So, nasa isip kasi nila na ang panganay na anak na si Cain ay siyang magiging deliverer. And the name Cain itself derived from Hebrew word which means to acquire. Ay yung pagkaroon o derived from the word which means acquisition. Pagkaroon ng pag, uh, pagmimiari. So, on the other hand, uh, the Hebrew name Hebel. Abel means Bafor. So, uh, pag sinabi natin Bafor or breath, okay, denotes the emptiness. So, baliwala. Ang pangalan ng Abel na pangalawang anak nila, they don't consider that or him as a deliverer, only Cain. So, uh, at, uh, after a time, Though uh, perhaps the idea is that Adam and Eve hopes rested the only believe in Cain. And they believe he, not his brother, was the promised Messiah. So, uh, sa pangalawang question po ay ni, why did uh, God accepted the offering of Abel and rejected the offering of Cain's. So we can have that in Genesis chapter 4, 1 to 5. So the contrast between Cain and Abel is reflected in their names. They not just concern their personality. Hindi lang sa personal that sila nagkaroon ng tinatawag na pagkakaiba. Kundi uh, kung si Cain ay uh, a farmer, a tiller of the soil, Si Abel naman is the keeper of the sheep. So, uh, iba ang linya ng kanilang uh, nakasanayan, ng kanilang hanap buhay. And these two occupations not only explain the nature to offering fruit of the ground and the sheep 
from Abel's clock. So it is associated with Cain was working to acquire the fruit he would produce while Abel was careful to keep the sheep he had received. Kung titignan po natin, um, Cain uh, brought only one offering, but Abel brought two. Uh, the requirement that God has given them is they're going to bring a sin offering and a thanksgiving offering. But Cain brought only one, only one offering. And uh, Abel brought the best, the best uh, produce from his sheep. And uh, Cain brought just one taken from his uh, produce. So makikita natin dito the sincerity of Abel and the uh, uh, relaxed uh, or unconcerned uh, idea of uh, Cain's about uh, giving offering to the Lord. So while Abel complied with God's instructions and offered the vegetable offering in addition to the animal burnt offering, Cain neglected to do so. So see Cain, he believed in his own idea, not obeying the instructions that was given to him. So although these offerings must have had spiritual significance, they did not have magic value in themselves. Wala silang actually value. They were always merely symbols, images pointing to the uh, pointing to God who provided the sinner not only uh, sustenance but also redemption. So uh, when we give offering to the Lord, we must consider that we must give the best, the best, and uh, not just an ordinary thing. So we have uh, number three, what is the root, uh, root cause? What is the root cause? Ano ang pinakaugat ng Cain's crime? Ano ba talaga ang um, ang pinakaugat ng kanyang naging kasalanan? What is the process, process that led Cain to kill his brother? Okay, you can also see that in 1 John 3, 12. So when Cain's reaction was twofold. He was given the opportunity to offer uh, the right offering at uh, he has the option that he is going to bring to offering pero uh, pinili niya yung sarili niya um, gusto. And uh, he uh, he was uh, hard headed and would not like to follow instructions that God has given him. Cain was angry with God and his brother. So, ito ang pinaka root cause kung bakit nagawa niya yung tinatawag na crime. Uh, his anger was directed to God and to his brother because of jealousy. And uh, he directed his anger to God because he uh, imagined that the uh, he was uh, yeah, he was being uh, unfairly dealt with by God. So God's two questions in Genesis 4 are related to Cain's two conditions. God does not accuse Cain as with Adam, but he just asks questions. Nagtanong lang siya. Cain, to look at himself and then to understand the reason of his own condition. Tiyanong siya ng Panginoon, where is your brother? So, ito lang yan yung tiyanong sa kanya. Uh, parang nagbumalik yung tanong ng Panginoon kay Adam. Where are you? So, God knows the condition and Cain himself know the condition he was in from that particular time. And, uh, if sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, if you do not, if you 
do not do well, sin lies at the door. And it is desire is for you, and you must rule over it. So, ang nais nice ng Panginoon ay tayo mismo ang magdidesisyon. We are going to decide which way we are going to go and uh, which choice we are going to uh, pursue. God's second word of counsel concerns the attitude to take toward this sin, which lies at the door and whose desire is for you. So, you should not, or you should rule over. So, the same principles in James ang pinapakita sa atin kung paano na-explain niya. Each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and in peace. And uh, in the end, Cain had no one to blame for the sin but himself. Ang sarili lang niya, ang kanyang uh, maaring masisisi. He sent it generally the way with all of us. So parang ito yung may dual application sa ating mga buhay. And we are responsible for whatever sin that we committed. And uh, we uh, know the conditions wherein we are in when do, we do such particular sins. So, next question is, uh, how is God, or how was God introduced in the punishment given to Cain? How are does God and Cain being introduced or described in the um punishment that was given so in Genesis chapter 4 9 to 16 sinasabi po doon na kung paano na kinawestion God questioned Cain equals his question to Adam and Eve so paano yun sabi niya where are you yun ang binanggit ko kayo na parang bumalik yung uh, the moment during the fall when God asked where are you and this echo suggests that the link between the sin in Eden and the sin now later sin Cain was the result of the former one Adam's so Cain though will not acknowledge his sin he denies it something that Adam didn't do Si Adam naman, tinanggap niya ang kanyang pagkakamali, ang pagkakasala niya. And uh, si Cain ay iba. He did, did not even acknowledge. He does not even wait for the answer. He reminds Cain that he knows everything. So ito ang reminder ng Panginoon sa kanya. Ano ang ginawa mo? What have you done? So... Uh, Kahit na hindi siya sagutin ni Cain, alam ni Cain kung ano ang kanyang ginawa. And uh, uh, ito rin ang maging question sa bawat isa sa atin. Kung uh, kakausapin tayo ng Panginoon, what have you done? And uh, we all already know where we are, uh, where we stand. Like Adam and Eve, when they were asked, where, where are you? So, uh, the same questions will be echoing in our minds and our hearts when we go against God's will. So, a bell is in the ground, the direct link between the back to the fall and what the Lord has said would happen to Adam. So, when uh, God uh, told um, Adam, and curse the soil. Nung panahon na namatay si Abel, there's still another curse soil that was given to uh, Cain. So, kung titinan po natin ang kanyang uh, mga ginawa o yung kanyang naging kasalanan is she didn't acknowledge not until God asked him the same question. And it's because Abel's blood was poured on the ground that the ground is now cursed again for the second time. 
and Cain is then condemned to become a refugee far from God. Siya ay tatakbo at tatakbo from one land or place to another because uh, of the sin that he had committed. Even after Cain's cold-blooded murder of his brother and his defense in the face of the Lord still shows mercy, pinakita pa rin sa kanya kung papaano yung tinatawag na mercy o awa. Genesis 4.16, the Lord still provided him with some kind of protection. So ano yung protection ng binigay sa Exactly what that mark was, Genesis 4.15, we haven't been told kung ano yung mark na yon. He was given a mark. But whatever it was, it came only because of God's grace. So, meron ibinigay sa kanya yung Panginoon na uh, mark. Hidden from your face, what is hidden from the face of God? So, ito yung mga itatanong sa atin kapag tayo ay nagtatago. Kung tayo man ay nagtatago ng mga bagay-bagay sa ating mga sarili, ano ang may tatago natin sa harapan ng Panginoon? So, a tragic situation for anyone, which is the only way we as sinners can avoid that situation. So, last question we have is the wickedness of man um, how does the legacy of Cain help us understand the passage that was uh, given by God um, God is visiting the iniquities of uh, his uh, people from the third to fourth generation paano natin maunawaan doon sa legacy na o oh, pamana na iniwan ni, ni Cain. So, kung matatandaan po natin, si Lamek ay ika fourth generation of uh, kung binanggit dyan sa Genesis kasi more on the birth, uh, the death, and uh, the crime. Ito yung pinapakita sa atin sa chapter na to, so, uh, Genesis chapter 4, and, uh, and the rest may be the remaining chapters. And also, uh, we have uh, ang pagkakaiba na uh, may pagkakaiba ni si Cain at saka si Lamek, yung kanyang apo. So, Lamek refers to Cain's crime in the context of his own. Sabi niya, kung si Cain ay uh, he was avenged seven times. Then, sabi niya sa kanyang dalawang asawa, sasabihin niyo na uh, ako ay, I will be avenged 70 times seven. Parang pinagmalaki pa niya yung crime. Sabi niya, I have killed a person and I will be avenged 70 times seven. Um, Ken introduced the theory of uh, uh, polygamy kung si ano, si Lamek pala si Cain ay isa lang yung asawa niya na what was mentioned in the Bible but uh, Lamek have uh, he begot two wives, dalawang kanyang inasawa, so he introduce, uh, introduces the concept of uh, uh, tinatawag na uh, bigamy o polygamy not only bigamy kasi iba mas maraming asawa so following the immediate uh, these episodes of evil in the Canite family uh, biblical text record a new event that counters the Canite trend uh, Adam knew his wife and begot another son by the name of Seth. So, nung ipinanganak na si Seth ay dito ay nakita uh, nagkaroon ng another hope pag-asa ang um, mag-asawa si Adam and si Eve with the thought that uh, Seth uh, will, is a replacement for Abel. And uh, 
dito ay pinakita dito na uh, the name set is derived from the Hebrew verb which means I will put. Kung ang pangalan ni Cain ay uh, just acquisition, uh, acquire, ang pangalan ni set parang yun na naging karugtong, I will put, which introduces the messianic prophecy. Dito kasi sa lahi ni set uh, manggagaling ang Messiah, our Lord, uh, Jesus. And including, okay, the biblical text gives then the record of the messianic line of set. So, includes Enoch, Methuselah, and the ending with Noah up to the time when uh, David uh, and uh, Jesus, after which Jesus was born from that lineage. So, pinapakita dito sa atin na uh, on the other hand, we have what you call the daughters of men and uh, tinatawag dito na um, parang in contrast the line of set because they have preserved the image of God. Tinawag sila na sons of God. Pero yung sa lahi ni Cain, ang concept na naibigay sa kanila is daughters of men. So, dito yung tinatawag na um, sons of God took wives for themselves. of all whom they choose. Okay, so uh, the, the influence of these daughters of men had uh, led them to uh, what we call later on as wrong directions in their lives or in uh, humanity that they are leading. Dito ay mahigpit ang instruction ng Panginoon sa kanila not to um be equally yoked with the uh, unbelievers, but they uh, insist on marrying. Tinatawag uh, dito uh, na daughters of men. Pinakita sa ating kung paano na ang Panginoon, in spite of the fact that Cain uh, and uh, his uh, generation have sinned against God, there's still uh, mercy and uh, love was still open. The conditions of salvation is open to them and it is also open to everybody. And the, the legacy of Cain is presented to us uh, for us to have that uh, choice between life and death. So, if we go on sinning and go after the sins, like uh, the sins of Cain and uh, his generation, uh, then death, we will be leading to death. But if we follow the course of a generation or the ancestry of Seth, which uh, preserved the image of God, preserving the image of God, in ourselves, then uh, there is a reward of eternal life for for each and everyone. So, why not choose life rather than death when it is very available because of the blood of the Lord, our Savior? Salvation is available to all. So, uh, I hope that uh, the lessons that we can get from this uh, legacy will be uh, used in our daily lives for us to consider uh, options that God is giving us. And I hope and pray that we will always choose life rather than death. So thank you and uh, God bless us.
this morning.